We all know that plants can be beautiful. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you five amazing plants that are more than just beautiful. So keep watching, because you have to see these amazing plants to believe what they can do. Jojo Science Show! Are you wondering what this plant can do? It has many tiny leaves and a pretty flower. But something interesting happens when you touch the leaves. See, it closes up. This plant is called the sensitive plant or the mimosa. Do you know how this plant works? Well, I'm going to tell you. When you touch it, the plant senses higher pressure in the leaves. Where the leaves connect to the stem, it's kind of like a hinge on a door. Water begins to drain out of the hinge area, which causes low pressure in these cells. And overall, that causes the leaves to droop and close. It's kind of like a hydraulic system for plants. I bet you didn't know plants had a hydraulic system. But be careful, if you ever come across this plant, just remember it has thorns and it can stick you. I bet you're wondering what amazing plants we'll show you next. I'll give you a hint. Boom! This plant looks innocent enough. It has these normal looking pods. But what happens when you put it in water? Well, it's just stunning. When the dry pods come in contact with water, it explodes. Boom! So why do plants do this? Some plants try to spread their seeds away from the parent. They do this so that the baby plants are not competing with the parent plants for the same nutrients. So these plants try to blast their seeds into orbit. Well, not quite. Let's see that in slow motion. This next plant is going to take you for a spin. This plant has funny looking seeds in a pod. But these funny looking seeds do something fun and amazing. These seeds are from the mahogany tree. These seeds spin like the blades of a helicopter when they're falling. This way, the wind can take it far away from the parent plant. This way, the baby tree isn't competing for the same resources as the parent tree, and it can spread and live in new places. Did you know that some plants are carnivorous? That means they ate meat or bugs. This is my Venus flytrap, and I'm going to show you how awesome this plant is. Do you see the tiny hairs inside of the Venus flytrap? Well, if a bug touches two of them, it closes up and traps the bug. Then the bug becomes dinner. I normally keep my Venus flytraps outside so they can feed themselves, but today I brought it inside so you could see it eat. The Venus flytrap closes tight when its prey struggles inside of it. So it doesn't react much to things like rain. I'm feeding my Venus flytrap uh, insects right now, but did you know some can even eat small frogs? That's amazing. If the bug or insect is too small, it may escape. Hmm, looks like this one might not be dinner. Venus flytraps grow in poor swampy soil, so they need more than just soil and sunlight to survive. That's why they eat bugs. We have a resurrection plant. This is an ancient evergreen plant that will spring back to life in less than a day. Isn't that amazing? When it's dry, it feels like an old dried up rope. We just rinse our resurrection plant off and we're going to put him in the bowl. Look how it absorbs all that water. This is like watching the grass grow.
It's been about three hours since we've put our plants in water. And look how green it is now. This is a desert fern plant. This plant is adapted to live in very dry conditions. It can dry up and blow in the wind like a tumbleweed. Then when it finds water, it quickly soaks up the water and opens up. That's why it can live in deserts where water is only available occasionally. It's called a resurrection plant, but it doesn't really die. It goes dormant like going to sleep. It still keeps a small amount of water, about 3%. I think it's in the middle right there. Normally plants are about 90% water. This is an example of how plants can adapt to really harsh environments. It can survive without water for up to 50 years. Survive, 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 fall asleep. Awake. <laughs> Humans can only survive three days without water. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below. And subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And remember, kids, science is fun!